Hello guys, for today's video, we will review this top of the line Montero GT 4x4 automatic transmission. Is it really worth it of its price? Alright, one of the best-selling seven-seater SUVs in the Philippines, the Montero Sport consistently ranks high on the list of the nation's best-selling vehicle this year. Together with stylish LED head and tail lights, the Montero Sport boasts chrome linings that wrap around the massive air intakes and reach up to the fog lamps. The Mitsubishi Montero Sport is offered in the Philippines with rear wheel drive or four wheel drive and it is built on a ladder frame chassis this 4N15 engine a 2.4 liter turbocharged inline 16 valve diesel with 179 horsepower and 400 newton meter of torque to help you go and beyond the diesel engine also features the brand's Mitsubishi valve timing electronic control or the MyVec technology and a variable geometry turbo or the VGT. It's either the 6-speed manual or an 8-speed automatic gearbox powers this SUV. The dynamic shield design language which is also present in other Mitsubishi vehicles is carried over to the Mitsubishi Montero Sport. So meron ditong DRL and naka projector yung uh, headlight. And of course yung signature ng uh, uh, ilaw ni Montero. So, meron ditong chrome accent. So, merong sensors dito sa front. Ayan. Actually, there are four sensors. Ayan. So, yung uh, camera. And nakabao na din yung uh, Mitsubishi emblem. So lahat ng mga lights here in front, including sa back, is naka-LED na po lahat. So in terms of the wheel and rim size, it has 265-60R18, two-tone. And this is the distinction of the GT as compared to the other variants like the Black Series and the other models. So yung uh, side mirror naka chrome accent, merong uh, turn signal light repeater at saka 360 camera. Yung step board, same lang na din naman sa other models. And yung handle here, naka chrome and keyless entry. Of course, naka, uh, naka push start button. So dito sa likod, Yan, naka-disc brake. Yun lang din yung maganda ni Montero. Even the manual base model is naka-disc brake na po yung braking system sa likod. Naka-shark fin. May roof rail. And uh, meron na din itong spoiler. So the spoiler is only good for the Black Series and the GT. And the third brake light, kasi yung manual transmission at saka yung GLS, wala pa siyang spoiler. So, naka-LED yung uh, lights. So, merong sensors dito. Apat na sensors. So, walang masyadong uh, changes yung uh, Montero Sport. No? And uh, I believe in the... Uh, next couple of months or even next year or i don't know now but uh, i believe there will be a new phase no of this montero sport considering that triton is already out of the market so dito sa likod uh, merong mga chrome accents dito sa handle and meron na din itong camera of course no kasi this is the top of the line uh, montero sport gt and yung uh, Door dito sa likod is naka-automatic tailgate na po. Let's press the button. Alright. So, yun din yung nagustuhan ko dito sa Montero. No? Kasi, 
yung design dito sa third row is naka flatten in which malaki talaga yung pwede mong maikarga ng mga bagahe so meron ka folders dito may socket and very ano maluwag yung uh, space dito very spacious so meron ditong organizer ng mga basic tools or pwede ling lagayan ng mga gamit and dito makukuha natin yung uh, reserve tire okay close natin yung automatic tailgate in terms of suspension a double wishbone with coil spring stabilizer bar suspension is used at the front of the Montero Sport while a three link coil spring with stabilizer bar suspension is used at the back so in terms of comfort I can guarantee that the comfort of this Montero Sport is uh, the best no? not comparing to other competitors based on my experience upon owning uh, manual transmission for two years alright so pasok tayo dito sa cabin sa sidings naka leather up and uh, naka hard plastic dito meron ding uh, parang uh, soft touch dito naka all power yung mga windows so yun din yung nagustuhan ko kay Montero even the base model the manual transmission is uh, medyo marami din yung uh, specification talaga or features kasama na din yung naka automatic lahat ng mga windows naka leather seat and naka electronic yung uh, adjustment naka push start button meron ditong uh, parking sensor traction control and other uh, features ng mga buttons like this crash sensor so the toggle for the gas tank Merong accent dito sa aircon vent. Sa um, steering wheel, naka leather wrap with uh, stitching. Uh, so merong cross control and uh, mga buttons dito na uh, control ng infotainment. So, maganda yung uh, leather sa um, steering wheel. Naka hard plastic yung dito sa dashboard. Wala akong nakikita ang soft touch dito and uh, yung dashboard pala even the GT uh, has no difference of uh, in terms of the look and feel no? comparing to other models like the GLS the, four, uh, the, the black series or even the manual transmission so nakahalogen pa din yung cabin lights and since this is the top of the line meron siyang sunroof ayan My handle here, same sa other side. Yung center mirror, yung napansin ko lang dito guys sa, sa GT, wala akong nakikita ang sunglasses holder. No? So wala akong nakikita dito. So kasi yung uh, base model, the manual transmission meron. For the infotainment system, it has an 8 inch screen display with Apple, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capabilities so yung mga aircon vents here in front yung controls ng AC and yung uh, para sa automatic tailgate button meron din mga controls here different modes may socket and yung uh, differential lock button Meron dito mga USB ports. Alright. Then yung uh, dito ng gamit. And yung panel ng uh, AT shifter. Parang may combination na uh, um, silver accent. And merong downhill assist. So yung toggle ng 4x2, 4x4 And meron ditong uh, parking and auto hold buttons 
So nakapya no finish yung panel. Meron dito ang uh, dalawang cup holders. Then yung center console naka leather wrap. Meron din dito ang uh, piano accent. Finish. Meron ding uh, paddle shifter. So is it really worth the price? For me, in terms of the features and technology, safety, uh, since this is the top of the line of the Montero Sport, I believe uh, worth it siya, no? sa price as compared to other competitors. Pero again, depende na din yan sa perspective natin or sa preference natin. Kasi we have a different perspective. No? Depende kasi yan sa preference natin kung ano ba talaga yung priority natin in terms of the specification of the SUV. Is it the comfort? Is it the engine? Or is it the features? So, depende yan. So, meron nung ako nakikita dito ng uh, socket and uh, power outlet sa likod ng center console. For the dashboard perspective, the elegant look of the dashboard and I believe many of us is waiting for the all new Montero Sport now, considering that this uh, model or this face of the Montero Sport has been uh, here in the market for around 8 years already kasi yung all new ni Montero is uh, the first batch is 2016 okay, meron dalawang cup holders here of the center console and uh, nagustuhan ko din yung uh, quality ng leather guys soft siya na quality pero yung ano ko lang dito sa Montero talaga is uh, nakahalogen pala yung uh, cabin lights merong handle here sa gilid din which is good yung comment ko lang talaga dito sa Montero no not only just GT but also in other variants is medyo naliitan lang ako sa cup holders no Medyo maliliit yung mga cup holders and parang limited yung cup holders. Especially for the low variants. And uh, aside from that, uh, yung ilaw dito sa sa, ano, sa cabin is nakahalogen pa. Uh, hindi pa siya LED. Pero, in terms of comfort, in terms of space, maluwag talaga si Montero. No? Good for a big family. Especially sa third row. No? The GT4WD variant also has Mitsubishi remote control capability which allows you to link your smartphone with the car to operate some of its features. The remote control's features include opening and locking the tailgate, turning on and off the headlights, turning on the vehicle's hazard lights, opening and closing the power windows, starting and stopping the engine, setting reminders in case you forget to lock the car, and using its car finder function to locate, to locate the SUV in the parking lot. And for this 4WD uh, package for this GT, a few of them are anti-lock braking system. In terms of safety features, brake assist, the electronic brake distribution, the vehicle stability control system, traction control, crash sensor, driver airbag, passenger airbag, curtain airbags, side airbag front, seat belt warning, rear seat belts, child safety locks, isofix child seat mounts, parking sensors, rear parking sensors, rear camera, the 360, the hill start assist control, the downhill assist control, the front impact beams, side impact beams, engine check warning, electric parking brake, blind spot monitoring system, and rear cross traffic alert. Price of this GT 4x4 is 2,430,000 pesos SRP. So with all those mentioned features, for me, it's all worth the price of this top of the line model. I hope na gusto niyo yung review natin. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, Jubal's Car Blogs. Thank you guys for watching.